Welcome back guys, my name is Skullmember and today we're going to talk about low altitude bombing. The reason I like low altitude bombing above the high altitude bombing is I find high altitude bombing really really boring and I'd rather not be bored when I play this game. So I prefer low altitude bombing. I do know that low altitude bombing is not for everyone. Some people will like it, some people will hate it, but it's my thing to do and I really really enjoy low altitude bombing so today hopefully i'm going to show you guys how i do it and maybe you guys can try it out and see if you can have more fun while bombing on this map particular map we have a factory we have a command center i choose to go for the command center first and at the factory because if i take the command center we get a bomber flight they do whatever they want to do and i can go for hopefully the place they're not going so what you want to know about low altitude flying is that you need to be more aware of your surroundings. You want to know what is going on, who is with you, are you on your own, how many enemies, what kind of buildings. You want to go for the most armored buildings first, which is we can take them out with our bombs. Like here, I make a big mistake dropping my bombs and it pretty much gets all taken in, I think it's a satellite dish. So make sure that you know where you're going to drop your bombs. Don't drop them the way I did it. Right, let's go into how I drop them. When my plane, like we see, gets to here, when my tail enters the ground target or the section of ground target, so like the little wall, that's where I will drop my bombs. It also depends on your speed, on your altitude, and the angle you're coming in. So if you're coming in straight, like I just did there, you want to drop when your tail comes in. When you're in an angle, you can slightly do it later, so probably just when the tail, the last bit of the tail enters. Here you see me going after a heavy. I was waiting for my bombs to come back anyway, so why not go over a heavy? We'll turn pretty much the same. We're around the same speed and I'm waiting for my bombs anyway, so there is no need for me to do nothing while my bombs are uh, reloading. I should have paid attention here to who's behind me because I'm actually getting lit up. So I'll drop my bombs. Try to go for the AA, because in this game there's one thing that does my tree in, it's AA. So I tried to get the bombs onto the targets and continue. If you're on your own and there is no enemies or nothing in your neighbor anywhere, you can slow down a bit if that's what you need. I normally don't slow down, as you can tell my boost is pretty much on 24-7. Uh, I like to keep my speed up so I can, you know, if I need to, I can get away. So if you're going to fly slower, make sure that you drop your bombs later. Because if you're going the speed I'm doing normally, which is pretty much on cruising altitude or slightly faster, then I drop when my tail comes in. If I slow my speed down, because let's say I want them all into a cluster, then I will drop a lot later than pretty much when I'm right above it, I want to drop in. I decided to go for the airfield because I saw that we almost took the factory so I decided well before I get to the factory we have it so I'll help out and see if we can flip the middle base which is the airfield. Do not take your bummer to middle airfield if you don't need to. A lot of people do think that when there is an airfield in the middle and you own that part of the map you will win. That is not true. It doesn't mean that you have the middle flag that you're gonna win. Maybe sometimes that it's important to keep it, but sometimes it's not. When it's an airfield, the only good thing about it is, is that you're probably going to be able to spawn there when you die. When you're flying at low altitude, you've got to understand that you are going to be targeted by fighters and heavy fighters a lot more than high altitude because you're right in their face. So make sure when they get behind you, wiggle it. Go a bit left, right, left, right, you know so that they need to adjust their aim to hit you. If you fly in a straight line, fighters will have no problem hitting you and it's just too easy for them and you're probably gonna lose it. If not, then you might win, but I would always say try and wiggle the back of your plane so it makes it a bit harder for them to hit. When I respawned, as you can see me looking at the factory right now and I'm looking at the airfield, I could go to the airfield now maybe flip it and we'll have it but I looked at the factory and I was like how is it possible that my team didn't flip it because I was sure they were gonna flip it I was wrong I should have gone there and flipped it 
So, instead of going to the airfield again, I decided I'm going to go to the factory. Maybe I'll get there on time before the enemy gets in. Shame play. In a few seconds, they're going to have it, and I'm going to be too late. You can see me looking at the plane over there, and I noticed... Wait a minute, that's a tier 7 in front of me. Not a good idea. So I decided to disengage, not go for the factory, but go for the garrison. I was hoping, if I would go for the garrison, that the enemies, after taking it, killing all my friendlies, they would go, go for the airfield, as my team actually managed to flip the airfield. So I was hoping I will go to the garrison, flip the garrison, go to the factory, and then drop on, hopefully. So, I keep an eye on the on the fighter behind me. He's more interested in the GAA than me because the GAA is slower, easier kill. So, I continue onwards to the garrison to figure out what I can do. When you go into a garrison, you want to make sure that you go for armor targets again. So, AA, annoying, go for it if you want to. These buildings, perfect as well. What I'm doing now is wrong. I should have gone for the AA instead of the tents, but I was hoping to, you know, easy flip in and be done with it. I should have gone for the AA, would have, at least, I would have had some health left. I continued, noticed that we had a fighter that did decide to come back to me, so there we go. Move the parts of the plane left and right, left and right, there you go, slowly but surely. I am flying with the joystick, so it does look a bit different probably to when you do it. For me, it's a lot harder to wiggle the plane because I aim with the joystick and if I want to wiggle the plane, I have to go to my keyboard, which is then, of course, not in front of me anymore. I got a bit cocky here, as you can tell. I'm no longer wiggling my plane because I noticed he was diving down. I thought he was disengaging. He wasn't. He was trying to get underneath me and then shoot me where my, uh, my gunner couldn't get me. So there, that is my own mistake. I lost my wing. I lost my pilot just because I got cocky. And I decided, you know, haha. So, when we finally killed the fighter, I looked at the factory, gone, my well, factory is ours, I can go for the garrison. But I didn't pay attention. Um, if you can see on the map, or at the top of the screen, they took the command center. I'm not sure how I missed it that they took the command center. But for me, seeing that there is a GAA coming in here, I should have disengaged and gone to the command center. This is my mistake, bad map awareness, and I was probably tunnel visioning on flipping the garrison. It's a big mistake, I mean there is a GAA here, I can just go and the GAA will flip it, not a problem. As you can tell I dropped one bomb, and that's it, we flipped it, so a total waste of my time, we lost points because of me. As you can tell in a minute, I'm just playing around, going. Oh, oh wait a minute, they took the command center. <laughs> very bad, very, very bad. Don't do this. Keep an eye open to what happens to your flags because one, they took the command center. Two, they took the airfield. So we lost two without me even noticing. So now I'm gonna go again for the command center. I know what the command center looks like. I know what I can go for. So I wrote it already in my head, in my head the, uh, the path I'm gonna take. I'm staying on a high altitude at the moment because I've no there's no need for me to dive down or anything. I'd rather stay at high altitude, well, mid altitude, and then when we get to the place, I'll dive down to pick up some speed as you can tell now. Tipping it with about eight degrees down. Boost a bit. So we're gonna come in from the middle. I should have probably gone a bit more to the right. And I wanna go for the ships, buildings, AA. Drop all those. Drop the four bombs I have, turn around, wait for the reload, and do it over again. So here you see me turning to the ship, getting ready to drop the first bombs, pulling up stray a bit, and Till comes in, drop the bombs. Same with the next one. Till comes in, drop the bombs. I keep doing this all the time. If you do that, you'll make it. If you notice that they're dropping a bit too early, drop a tiny bit later. And you know, always look behind you to see what's going on. I actually didn't pay attention that there was an F7F behind me, and it's a heavy, and I'm not paying attention to it, so that's going to be my doom, shamefully. But, overall, good game. 
so we made around 180,000 credits, got some XP, but most of all we had fun. So guys, hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully I'll see you all next time when we have another video. So thank you for watching, and hopefully we'll see you all soon. Bye bye.